So, principle number eight. Jesus is the greatest entrepreneur of all time because he was intentional about quiet time with God. Time to think, time to pray, and I believe time to strategize, right? Matthew 14, 22 says, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up to the mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone. Mark 1.35, very early in the morning, whilst it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon, his companions, Simon and his companions went to look for him. And when they found him, they exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, let us go somewhere else to the nearby village so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons, right? Jesus didn't come to earth to play games. Jesus was about his father's business and in business you have strategy. And the two scriptures I've read show that he was intentional about going away and having alone time with God, with his father, right? And if you read the scriptures yourself, you'll see that oftentimes when he went to go and have that alone time, it was usually after he had done a lot of work. So maybe he'd done a lot of teaching, he'd healed people, and he would go and have alone time. And I believe that was to replenish, right? Or it would be right before he was about to go out and do some more preaching, healing, right? Because here it says, uh, everyone's looking for you. And then Jesus says, let's go somewhere else to the nearby village so I can preach there also. This is right after he's come out of having quiet time with God. And so he was intentional and he would disappear often. He was intentional about carving out that alone time. And I think it's so important because sometimes when you're in business, when you're an entrepreneur, God can give you a vision and then you can begin to lose sight of that vision. So you need to kind of realign your focus and going and having time with God will help you to stay focused on what you're supposed to stay focused on. I told you guys that in 2023, I lost my focus and I started taking things into my own hands. And I had stopped taking business meetings with my CEO and allowing him to lead me and to direct me. And that's why I felt lost for such a period. But here, Jesus is so intentional about it. You can't be an entrepreneur and be in gear five all the time, even though sometimes that's what the world makes you believe. <laughs> I used to listen to Grant Cardone. <laughs> that man does not have peace, I'm sorry. <laughs> like his motto is 10X, do everything, 10X, 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 don't sleep, don't breathe, 10X. I'm sorry, I'm learning my entrepreneurship from Jesus and he would frequently bounce and say, deuces, I'm going to the mountainside to go and talk to my daddy. And as entrepreneurs, I believe that is integral every day Every day before I start working, I literally say, I can't remember the scripture now, I think it's Proverbs 3.16, I commit my plans unto you so that you will establish my thoughts. And I, I really mean that because when he establishes my thoughts, oh, that thought, that idea, it's just, it doesn't compare to anything that I would have come up with. So I always commit my plans to him, right? We need to be intentional about carving out time to rest to reflect, to replenish. So I believe that for you to really have God as your CEO, this is required, right? Um, and as well as that, when you have those quiet times with God, he also is able to direct you and to tell you when to walk through a door or not walk through a door or when to leave a place 
or where to stay. In Luke 5.15, it says, yet the news about him spread all the more. So the crowds of people came to hear him and to be healed of their sickness. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. So there's many instances where people would ask for healing and Jesus would say, I need to go to the next town. I need to bounce, right? And I believe that when you're intentional about spending time with God, he will tell you when to leave a thing and when to stay. And that's exactly what Jesus did, right? Um, and as well as that, when, when you spend time and inter when you spend time with God, and I've said this before, he can give you a vision and then sometimes every time you go and spend time with God, you make it about the vision. And sometimes we can end up idolizing the vision that God has given us. And now we replace our intimate time with him purely with just the vision, the vision, the vision. No, when you go away and have that intentional quiet time with God, it's really important to have a heart that remains open, right? To what he wants to share with you. I remember when I first went to God and <laughs> I was asking him to show me my purpose for 2022 and I was expecting him to show me about St. Clair's or my marriage. And like I said, he showed me the entrepreneurial program, but my heart was open to what he wanted to say to me, what he wanted to share with me, what direction he wanted me to go in. So when you have your intentional quiet time with God, yes, your business might be you know what you're seeking direction for but also remember to have an open heart because it's his strategy that we want to run by he knows exactly what we need better than what we need right you might go to him as your ce as as he, you might go to him as your ceo but he understands that maybe the way you're running your household right now is not conducive for conducive for somebody who is going to be where he desires for you to be that if you don't get your house into order right now by the time you get into this position your children aren't going to know you properly or they're not going to know him properly because you haven't managed your time you know you haven't managed your time accordingly so you might go to him about things to do with the business but he's showing you things about your family because he wants you to make sure that you've got your priorities right before he puts you in that position I haven't written down a question for you guys for this one, but it'll be interesting to know what question would you write down? Um, am I intentional about God's purposes and my plans? I'm in the process of trying to give time every day, <laughs> but it, 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 it's hard because it feels like it's hard because it feels like you know, we already know life be lifing. <laughs> but then even the time that you do have, when you think about, oh, maybe I, I want to read the word. And then I also want to maybe speak in tongues. And then I also have this prayer request. And then I also, it's like, uh, it would be nice to, to be able to every day touch on something con consistently. So I think for me right now, it's carving out that time every single day to just sit and hear. So I have, I journal, you know, I pray, I do things like that. But what I'm trying to do in this season is every day at least have just 10 minutes of silence so that I can just allow him to deposit, so that I can literally just receive. 